Hey, I'm Dana Blizzard, and you're watching One Funny Morning. I'm Dana Blizzard, and it's too early in the morning. Wow. This is the dumbest show in the whole world. I From Monday to Friday. Sometimes on Saturdays. Why would you say that? Dean stinks. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. That's your Dateline voice? I don't know. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a chicken leg. This is a chicken leg. Look at that manhole cover <laughs> on my Not a bad rendition of me. Hold on. What's outside your Puerta de Clima? Oh, that's Stalin! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Janine from Aberdeen, New Jersey, which I consider to be Central Jersey, which a lot of people in this state would disagree with, but I say it's Central Jersey. Dina, I've been a fan of yours since your early days on 101.5. I also saw you do warm up for one of the audiences in New York City. I also have been to a comedy show, but I haven't been on one of the trips yet. They sound like so much fun. I have worked for an animal hospital for a veterinarian for over 30 years now, so I understand your struggle with Kobe. I hope things are going well with him today. It's a one day at a time kind of thing. So here we go. It's time for the morning show. Have a great day, everyone. Take it away, Dina. Good morning, Janine. That was so lovely. Good morning. Good morning. It's a workout day here, if you can't tell. Um, I haven't been to the gym in forever. I'm almost positive I won't be able to walk tonight, but whatever. I know, haven't been on a trip yet. That's the spirit. So, Janine, that was lovely. That's what I'm talking about. Send us a video, say hello, introduce yourself. It doesn't have to be all crazy, but we'd love to see you. Hi, late girl. Thanks for joining Good morning. If you're just joining, this is uh, One Funny Morning on Facebook, on the TikTok, on the YouTube. Now the five, it's tomorrow. So I will be eating cake all day. Mm hmm. Haven't been here this early in a while. Mandy, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know about anybody else, but I, I realized it's just Tuesday. I and mean, that's hard. <laughs> I don't know how everybody else is feeling about it. I know. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Athena. Marsha, tomorrow is a lithotripsy. This week has been so long, Gabby. That's what I'm saying. It's only Tuesday, and girl, I'm done. I'm done. Is it cot kit magic? Yeah. It's, a, it's not a Christmas tree magic. It is a St. Patty's tree, which is, I ironically, still old. Uh, but we are working on it, and we are going to make it into a spring tree next. It's a thing. Uh, I wish I could say that it is. Um, it was planned this way, and that I was like, this is all part of our whole system. But it's really, I'm just too lazy to take it down. And so we've just decided to roll with it and just make the best of it. So that's who we are. Welcome. Mm-hmm. I know, Shikendra, just, just right here, there's a sign. Girl, it ain't a Christmas tree. Just don't ask. Just put it, don't ask. I concur. Nursing a spastic back in this week, it already feels like it's a month long. Girl, I know. I know. Judy, I've been thinking about getting up at 6.30 in the morning to do the yoga. What do we all think about that? Does that sound real dumb? So, I don't know about anybody else. But there's something about me. Denial is a wonderful thing. Magic, thank you for saying that. Um, I don't know what it is about me. I will go to the gym twice a week when I can and not having it being in the hospital. And, but for whatever reason, and please raise your hand if this applies to you. If somebody says, you know what's the greatest thing you could do for your body? is stretch every morning and I will punch you with my eyes. 
I don't know what I what problem I have with stretching. <laughs> I see dogs do it all the time and they are very happy. And yet I cannot the idea of getting up and like stretching my body so dumb. And yet yeah, I don't think I'm a morning person or a night person, Vienna, if we're being honest. I'm barely like a two o'clock in the afternoon person at this point. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to be like a morning person or a night person? Like you could pick. Mm -hmm. And then you realize I only really like the times that I'm napping. And that could be at any point. Um, mm -hmm. I stretch when I yawn. I know my head stretches, my body worries. I will get stuck in a weird position. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love stretching until it starts to hurt because of the spasms. I know. And then, did you ever hear about people where they're like, "I just started working out. I hurt my back." I'm like, "I don't, I don't work out, and I feel amazing." I know it's wrong. Mm hmm. Girl Jones, that girl. I love a good nap. Mm -hmm. I'm at my best from approximately 10 to 2. And then it's downhill. I just stretching videos every morning. Colleen, I should be, I should be you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Renee. Mm -hmm. I saw the word yawn and I started yawning. Good job. I hurt my back grocery shopping two weeks ago. <laughs> How are you going to explain that even to the doctor? And they're not even supposed to judge you and be like, listen, I need to talk to you. I think I hurt my back. They're like, were you saving a baby? Close. It was very close to saving a baby. Were you in a car accident? No, I was not in a car accident. Did you fall down the steps? No. No. Do you know those cans of beans? that have the honey in them, the barbecue honey. Well, I was reached up. They're like, one of them fell on your head and you were knocked out and you fell on the floor. No, no. You were holding a whole rack of them because you were donating them to people in need. No, no, no. So what happened? You were attacked in, a, in an alley uh, by a man with a can of beans and her name was Diana. No, it's a weird name for a man. Uh, no, no, no. Well, let me, let me tell you what happened. I had, I had my grocery hit list in this hand. Okay. And then somebody violently punched you in the face. No, no, no. I just, I was like, I read beans. And then I looked up and I saw a can and then I, and then I reached for the can. Okay. And then you fell. No, no. And that's when I pulled my back out before you fell. I didn't, I didn't fall at all. Actually, I just, I reached up, but the way that I reached it, like it, the moon, what I think was in line with Jupiter. And I think that when it does that, the earth kind of, and I think that's what happened when I went to get for the beans, I felt the earth because of Jupiter. I said, that's not a thing. I'm, it's probably a thing. <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where we are as people. And, and that is that story will be told today to a doctor somewhere. And that doctor will judge you. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt my knee two weeks ago getting out of bed. Please tell me your stories of all the ways you've hurt yourself and not saved a baby. I pulled a muscle in my back reaching for stuff. Mm -hmm. I pulled my back making the bed <laughs> again. I tore my ACL and you name it, surgeon asked how I did it. I said, uh, walking. Okay. I went to pick a sock up off the floor and knocked out my back. Okay. You know what? I feel so much better. Continue. Mm -hmm. Back pain is the worst, Diane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sneezed and threw my back out. I broke my neck rolling over in bed. My grandma did that. Robin, how old are you? I hurt my back when I sneezed. Is everybody passing out? I sneezed and pulled a muscle. Turns out all my injuries were all gout. Took eight years to get diagnosed. No, I sneezed. Look at all these people. 
you don't need some kind of sneeze, some kind of like sneeze insurance. I hurt my back getting up off the couch. My physical therapist told me to stretch before getting out of bed. Mm. I hurt myself cleaning the kitchen floor. If I sneeze, I pull a certain muscle in my back all the time. I pulled my back out brushing my teeth. Diane, you win. Let's talk us through this, Diane. Dina, it was real aggressive. Okay. I was minding my own business. I picked up my toothbrush. Okay. And then an intruder came in. No. No. What had happened? Then I sneezed. And that's when you pulled it out. No. No. I have insurance. Okay. Um, then I went to put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and it was so heavy. No, nope, it's almost out. Okay. And then you slipped on a bar of soap. Nope, nope, nope. What happened is, you know, the mirror is far away. How far is it? A, a lot farther than one would think. And what happened was, <laughs> it always starts out, what happened was, I leaned forward. I was like, and then your head hit the mirror. Nope. No, I leaned forward, but my feet was still in the back. And then, and then you were off balance and you, nope, that was it. I leaned, I went and that was it. And then now I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> what is it? Why are we so old? These are all good reasons to do yoga. I hit myself in the back. <laughs> <laughs> can't even read it. I hit myself in the mouth carrying a chair. Walk me through this. Well, I had a chair in my hand. I'm like, and then you fell. No. <laughs> it was a heavy, heavy chair. No, Ikea. And uh, a dog came, knocked the chair out of your hands. No, no, no. You sneezed. No. Nope. I just, I took it and I jammed it into my head <laughs> and that hurt a surprise thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I tried to pull my pants up and my shoulder exploded. <laughs> you would not believe the, 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 the people that are injured due to the bed said Amber. She works at a chiropractor. See, the only reason that you should go to the chiropractor because you hurt yourself in bed is you said some crazy night of sex. They'd be like, you, you picked up a person of the night and came home and a wild sex night. No, nope. no, nope. you were, you just got a trapeze thing to hang from your ceiling for when you and your love, no, nope. no. Nope. You were playing monkeys jumping on a bed and what somebody came over to yours. Nope. 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 You had a violent dream and, and you hit your partner and then they hit you. They had a violent dream at the same time. And then you two got into a fist fight. Nope. Nope. So what happened? I woke up. And that was the beginning of the worst day of my life. <laughs> Just... Okay. It's not a chicken leg. Did you all hear that sound there? <laughs> that sound? I want to punch someone when I hear that. Stop it. Do you hear it? Hey, it's not a chicken leg. It's like she can't, she can't rip her... Dumb foot off fast enough. I had back pain since then. Not sure how it started. Eileen, too many monkeys jumping. I'm one fart away from being an attraction at this point. <laughs> Only thing I stretch out is my wallet. The dog at the vet for the second day. Uh-uh, Patty, it's too much. Mm -hmm. Five minute light stretching. I walked into a passenger car door and had the biggest bruise on my right leg for weeks. Tore my rotator cuff, swimming with dolphins. Were you picking them up? <laughs> what were you doing to these dolphins, Lana? You should not touch dolphins. And that is not something that I have to say to a lot of people. But I feel like you need to hear. Look at my face. Lana, don't touch dolphins. Mm-hmm. Tracy had the same problem. You got to get edibles. That's the only way I'm surviving. 
I ride a horse for most tours on Sunday. I thought I was going to die yesterday. Oh, look who said it, Sherry Bougie Taylor. Guess who didn't ride a horse for two hours on Sunday? <laughs> Everyone who's not bougie. Why does Sherry act like, indeed, why does she act like she's not bougie and she's walking around talking about her horse? <laughs> I jumped out of the way of a water wiggle and tore my meniscus. You know what? I'm not even going to try to figure out what a water wiggle is. And the fact that you would try to use that in a sentence here and not explain what a water wiggle is. There's a piece of hair on me and it's driving me nuts. Yep, there it is. You know what I'm talking about? Did you ever have that? And you're like, I'm going to punch. It's just, it was aggressive boob hair. That's not good. I'd like to know what a water wiggle is. My brother, my brother had to have his back fused after hurting it by lifting a one pound box. I had my back stretching after being on the treadmill. So much for stretching. Dislocated my hip in my wheelchair. Isn't that the whole point of a wheelchair? Is it, I feel like a wheelchair is like a bubble. Yes, where you're supposed to go <laughs> when you're already hurt. I hurt my back rolling over. Mm -hmm. Looks like we all have to stop sneezing. This from this point on, stop. Oh, Noella, are you okay? Now my neck is. Yep, Linda. Well, welcome. Mm -hmm. Y'all have some violent sneezes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Stop licking. I bent over the other day and bam, back went out. I can't. Yeah. Can I take you with me to my doctor to explain that? Like, no, that's not what happened. My son left, let off the brake of the car as I was getting stuff put in the back from the car hitting me. Oh, I would make him pay for that. Mm hmm. The knee replacement part, the left knee slightly bowed since having surgery. No. All right, hear me out. Here's Kim. Hey, hear me out. Hear me out. What happened was, ugh, I was coughing so hard last night. I hurt my ribs. I'm not the worst. I punched myself in the face once, pulling up my blanket. Anyone else? I saw stars. Did you ever do that? You're just like, ah, poof. <laughs> just like, am I the dumbest person on the planet? Did you ever do that? I say it to myself all the time. I'm the dumbest person I know. I almost hit my forehead walking to my son's room in the end of the door. It was daytime and I was sober, just so you know. <laughs> There's two people I punched myself in the mouth while pulling up my blanket. How many people are knocking themselves out with a blanket? Pull my picking up a piece of paper off the floor. I went to open the bathroom door and stepped too far forward. The door hit my foot, bounced back, and hit me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you hit your head getting in and out of the car? I swear I have concussion system, so, uh, syndrome. I tore my rotator cuff and got in the shot in the shoulder yesterday. I woke up today with my neck hurting. I need to learn to properly sleep on a pillow. I walked onto a treadmill that was on full blast. I left the gym bloody and in an ambulance. The gym is dangerous. Last week, I sliced my finger while trying to get a price tag off of a tiny watch. I couldn't find scissors. Yep, that sounds right. Ever since I was little, if I hit my head, I will say my full name. I guess if I know my name, then I'm okay. <laughs> Her name is Tiffany Hall. Listen, moving forward, if you hit your head, say Tiffany Hall. That'll make no sense whatsoever. But from now on... <laughs> I will say Tiffany Hall's name. <laughs> you hit your name, you're like, ah, Tiffany Hall. And people will be like, who's Tiffany Hall? It's what you're supposed to say. It's like, God bless you. <laughs> Stop it. Booby. You have a problem. You have a problem. Hey, come here. Come up here. Come be on the show and stop it. That's it. Everybody write down the word Tiffany Hall. And that's what you say. <laughs> I do love a trapeze. Mm -hmm. I pulled my back out doing a hair flip. Well, there's that. I feel much better now. I'm so glad I caught this live. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what happened was, is there an article today? I don't know, Jen. There probably is. My aunt snapped her femur getting out of the bed. What in the world? Marsha's like, I broke a nail. Just waiting for it to grow back. That's it. Marsha's like, stay away from me, all of you. I don't want to go Tiffany Hall on you. I don't need that kind of energy. Have you ever dropped your phone on your face? You mean, Alejandro, you mean when you're laying in bed and you should just be sleeping or relaxing, but instead you have your thing in your face like this and then you kind of fall asleep and then it slams you in the face? No, I've never done that. Mm hmm. Yeah, Sandra's like, apparently I kicked my bed's ass last night. I woke up feeling like I've been in a fight. Mm -hmm. A water wiggle came at me. I had to have knee surgery. Mendy, why are you saying water wiggle as if... What does that mean? What is what is a water wiggle and why is it coming at you? Is this an animal? What's a water? Is that a snake? What? What's a water wiggle? I broke my ankle getting off the couch. Got run over by my own car. I can't. You, know what a water you know what a water wiggle is? Yeah, you've never heard of a water wiggle? No, what's a water wiggle? What are you talking about? You're lying. You don't know what a water wiggle no, is. you literally, I'm surprised you don't know what it is. Okay, Dean. You don't know what a water wiggle is. I don't know why you're acting like you know what a water wiggle is. If I don't know, then you don't know. I taught you everything this you know. Is not true. Oh, you I read know, a story about a water a wiggle? You no, you know. don't. You don't know anything I didn't teach you. Tell me something you, you know that I don't know. Apparently, what a water wiggle No, is. I think you're lying. I think you were walking around, you heard the the word water wiggle, and now you're walking over like you know. Uh, do you know when you're in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, I've been to the, Is it a snake? Is it an eel? And you know, you know. You're lying. You know, uh, He's making when it men up. are in the ocean, <laughs> there's a certain thing that happens. You're lying. It's called a water wiggle. No, you're saying a rogue penis hit Mandy in the head and she got scared. That's what you're saying. I didn't realize that that was the concept. <laughs> yeah. Her. A woman said she had an injury because a water wiggle came out of her. Yeah. It's the craziest. <laughs> this just happens. Okay, sorry, I was messing around. So, I, I so you don't know what a water wiggle is. I didn't realize that was the context of the... I didn't realize that was the context of the word. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's... like the worst thing that you could have said. A water wiggle? Oh, yes, of course, a water wiggle. So you know when a daddy wiggle, like a mama wiggle, really... Really? Tiffany got hit in the head. <laughs> Wait, Tiffany got hit in the what? Good job. Show everybody your new glasses. Yeah, hmm. I got some new glasses. Dean got some new glasses. Look at him, all I, nerdy. I can see now. You can see. Dean was Dean was doing the thing where he had the glasses, but only but the like the side the, came off, so it was only one side. It was crooked. Look at him. So handsome. Yeah. Okay. So somebody got run over by their own car. I went for a hike in a field. I broke my ankle. Uh, what is a water wiggle? You're going to fishing orientation tonight and so are we. Mm -hmm. It's not my horse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bougie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try to Jane. That's the weirdest sentence ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a water wiggle is, but I might want one. That's what I'm saying. It squirts out water to play with it. That's what she said. And okay, Mendy, you are not helping yourself at all. Okay. Mm -mm. I woke up two years ago. My knees hurt. They hated me ever since. No idea why. Mm -hmm. I pulled my back out in an Uber minivan. It hurt for a week. Mm hmm. I had a dream I was playing soccer. I kicked my lamp and woke up with a bloody toe. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, what are you doing? Were you like, ah, oh, Tiffany Hall, like that? Mm -hmm. Lorene diseases. Mm -hmm. My friend sneezed in the shower and couldn't move for three months. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robert. Um, um, all right, clip wise, you should clip Tiffany Hall. So no, Tiffany Hall, if she if she hits herself in the head, she says her full name. Right. And in her mind, she's like, I just say my name. 
Because I figure if I know my name, I must be okay. But then I said, I'm going to say Tiffany Hall every time I hit my head. Water wiggle. Mendy still is not. Water wiggle is attached to a hose and squirts out water to play. Does it, Mendy? Okay. Threw my back out running after the chicken. Mm -hmm. Blew my knee out while sumo wrestling in one of those padded outfits. Okay, Judith, I don't. That to me is the most obvious thing that you could have done to get yourself hurt. I don't know what part of you, Judith, was like, you see these people over here that then got these big costumes on and then they run towards each other? <laughs> yeah, let's do that and not get hurt. And then yell, Tiffany Hall. <laughs> I braced myself for a sneeze. That's probably the worst thing you can do. I got hit in the face this week on a volleyball. It's not a safe spectator sport. Shame to say, grandmom should never stretch. And then mm -hmm, lots of eyes, Laurie, all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm literally laughing so hard that my that my exploded shoulder hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's some hose in his house. Mm -hmm. I fell down the stairs after I put a box on the stairs that I forgot about. Foot in and down, stupid at its finest. Uh, girl who hasn't done it. I've been laying in bed and dropped my phone and hit myself in the face multiple times. Yep. All right, see you later. Bye, I love you. There should be a support group for people that punch themselves in the face pulling up a blanket. Do you know how many people have done that? Mm-hmm. I punch myself in the face all the time, but wouldn't feel anything of mine. I'm very clumsy. I was once skipping in my living room and skipped right into a corner door. Okay, Lisa, who randomly skips in their living room? I have never... Never walked through my house. I was like, screw this. I'm going to skip. No, but never. Who? What? <laughs> what are you I've never just been randomly walking. Going, you know, it would be just take this up 10 notches. Skipping. <laughs> Not since I was five. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe if I skipped more. Everybody today skip at some point. Be like, girl, I can't skip. P will come out. You can't. Mm -mm. I blacked my eye with a cell phone that was in my coat pocket mm -hmm. when I was trying to get the boys to stop fighting and they were little. The doctor thought I was lying and being beaten. Oh my gosh. Um, here's come shy. I have pictures for proof for proof. I could never afford a horse. I was volunteering for my daughter's troop. I can't afford the ride. Sherry. I love when Sherry Bougie Teller likes to likes to tell us, guys, I'm not bougie. Is she walking around her limo? Listen, she gonna show up for like a trip or something. She got a black limo gonna come drop her off. Men are gonna get out of the car. All yelling, Tiffany Hall, like that. Tiffany Hall is my favorite name now. It's known as a Tiffany Hall injury. <laughs> oh, gosh. So funny. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I was skipping and skipped right into the corner of the front and split my lip. And he, yeah, I don't understand. There's so many. The lady wants to, know, wants to know what I'm laughing at. Tracy, say, listen. <laughs> say there's a bunch of wackadoodles named Tiffany Hall, all walking into walls and punching themselves in the face. Mm -hmm. Several years ago, I was taking a walk and my flip-flop got stuck in the crack of a sidewalk. I fell and broke my jaw eight weeks with my mouth wired shut. I lost 25 pounds. <gasps> my iPad hit me in the face and that's worse. My daughter read into a padded wall full, full force in PE and broke her arm. What in the world? What's a water wiggle? And we're back. Mm -hmm. I was walking backwards, taking a video of my grandson and fell over the baby gate. <laughs> what is this? Uh, <clears throat> is a water wiggle a water spout, a tornado of water? Water wiggle is a splash pad. Google it. I've never heard of a water wiggle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think the water wiggle was taken off the market. It was dangerous. It was a thing attached to the end of a hose. It made the hose go wild in the air. Basically what Dean was saying. Mm -hmm. uh, it's officially summer when she face plants into something. She's talking about her daughter. Mm -hmm. 
A vintage water wiggle toy, $600 on eBay. Mm. Mm hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, the new word of the day, water wiggle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Dean was trying to think he was funny. I knew he didn't know what it was, but it was a good lie. He's, he's getting there. He's almost, he is almost to like Mr. Miyagi and Danielson. He was good. I almost believe that he knew what a water wiggle was, but mm -hmm. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Walked past my son's motorcycle and it fell on me to add to the injury. They said, I, they said I did it. Like I would want a motorcycle to fall on me. My husband backed over his own ankle while working under his truck and to have steel plates and screws put in. No. I, I think the, one of the funniest ones is the lady who <laughs> was dreaming that she was playing soccer and that she kicked her lamp and hurt her ankle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> uh, I need a middle name for Tiffany Hall. Maybe Marie. Everybody's Marie, right? Tiffany Marie Hall. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, so funny. Mm-hmm. I did that. I guess it just stuck. Yeah, Tiffany Hall, you're gonna be the most famous person here now. The whole day, people are gonna be like, I fell. Oh, Tiffany. Last year I had cataract surgery like an 80 year old and then had double pink eye like a five year old. And then you had jingles. I'm only 44. I think she meant I had jingles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so funny. I smashed my own face opening my door. My friend's dad dreamt he was kicking their mean old goat. He licked the wall and broke his toe. His wife said he should be glad he didn't kick her. But Carol, I don't even understand most of that story. Mm-hmm. Who licked the wall? The dad? I jumped out from behind the door and scared my husband and he threw his back out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my husband gets me with his elbow when he's sleeping. He sleeps with hands behind his head. What? He sleeps like this, Karen? Who sleeps like that? Like he full sleeps. He just goes like this and falls asleep. That's weird. Maybe it's the result of me hitting my head too many times. I got interrogated by a military doctor because I had a black bruise in my arm. She did not believe that I stuck my arm in a moving dryer to release some laundry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I dislocated my pinky toe trying to get my grandson to the potty on time. Oh, my gosh. Here's Bougie. A limb on my ass. What are you talking about? She gets so upset when we tell her how bougie she is. Mm-hmm. Have you seen videos of older people trying to remember how to skip? No, but I would like to now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I tore my rotator cuff making my bed and put my back out having sex. Getting old is fun. Mm -hmm. So funny. I have trouble walking. Who's skipping? I know. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. According to Google, <clears throat> here we go. Here's Kristen, Kristen Irene. A current water wiggle is that tube shaped toy with water and sparkles inside it that slips through your hands. Well, I mean, am I wrong? Was Dean wrong? No. <laughs> mm hmm. You can always tell when he's lying. He pauses to think and laughs. It cracks me up. Yeah, he's not. He's not a Jedi yet. All right. He's he's a baby liar. And I like to call it an improv artist. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Boom Boom Hall. We can add a boom boom or a bang bang. Yeah, that'll be nice. Tiffany, <clears throat> you get to choose. Do you want to be Tiffany Boom Boom Hall or Tiffany Bang Bang Hall? But you must choose. And that came from Candace. You can blame her. But you only have 24 hours. Those are the rules of the cult. Alejandra, do you want to go over the rules of the cult? Alejandra will explain to you what the rules are. Um, but she's on the TikTok, so I'll have to read it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I didn't understand who was licking what in that scenario. Kicked, not licked. All right, Carol, I'm going to need you to spell stuff right, okay? Because according to your story, a man was in a fight with a goat, and then he started licking a wall, and then his wife was like, you should be glad you didn't kick me. I don't understand. Carol, are you sober? It is 923, and that is not okay. I think it should be kicked, but licked. Just, yeah, like in the middle of his dream about a goat, he was like, let me get up and go over here. Like this wall. This is the weirdest show ever that we've done. Mm -hmm. I dreamt I was pregnant last night, more like a nightmare. Yep. Mm. My husband was helping me out of bed, said Gabby, when I was pregnant. He dropped me because his new car magazine dropped on the floor and out went my back. Gabby, let me get this straight. You are a precious gem. You are a beautiful baby growing inside of you. You are the most precious thing in the whole world. He's got you in his hands. He's like, Gabby, I got you. Girl, nothing's going to happen to you unless I dream of a goat and I got to lick this wall. But other than that, nothing's going to... Oh, magazine. And then he let you go. And then that was it. Wonderful. Oh, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. <laughs> he's, listen, at this point, you should be happy he wasn't licking a wall. Okay? Because Carol got a whole thing going on over this way. And, and we're trying to ignore it. That and water wiggle. And, and Tiffany Hall, Tiffany Boom Boom Hall over here. Yep. Just knocking herself out. Mm-hmm. 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 She probably meant that that man kicked the wall, did she? I slept walk out of our garage to our backyard. I unlocked the door. I opened the garage, opened our side gate, and was just standing there. My dad found me. I used to sleep walk all the time. We had to put two locks on our garage door just so I couldn't get out. When I was a teenager, I was in a hurry, so I tried to iron my shirt sleeve while I was wearing a big mistake. <laughs> Who says that? What you... How could I make this go quicker and guarantee that I'll be at the hospital? Let me let me iron it while it's on. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I was dreaming someone was trying to take my wife, so I was fighting them. <laughs> but it was my wife I was <laughs> Oh, you're not going to take my wife. Boom! She's like, I, okay, you know what? This is, okay, what? What? <laughs> if I could afford a trip, then I definitely couldn't afford the trip. It's one or the other. And Bougie still, she's still in the corner having a conversation by herself. Bougie's like, oh, I am not Bougie. I feel like basically, I feel like Bougie walks around in real life. Like if she stopped at a Starbucks, she'd be like, guys, this is, I haven't had a Starbucks all week. Like this is the only one I'm getting. I want you guys to know. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <clears throat> I just woke up. I knew I should have tried to type that, said Carol. <laughs> You're right. This isn't the weirdest show. All right. Here's Alejandra. Yes, Tiffany, per cult rules, you have 24 hours to claim your name. If you choose your name, you claim by changing your Facebook handle. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, Andrea. Um, yeah, still married after 29, uh, 29 slash five years, though. What does that mean? Tried to make cutoffs while wearing pants. The scissors slipped and I stabbed myself in the forearm. I still have the scar. Who hasn't done that? My husband bent over to pick up a piece of wood, broke his ankle in three places. Mm hmm. Tiffany Boom Boom Hall is the new Jane Doe. Mm hmm. My brother always used to sleepwalk. One time I came home, he had lined up little Debbie cakes and was smashing them on his head in his sleep. Then he would peel them off his head and eat them. <laughs> What in the world? <clears throat> I broke an egg in the silverware drawer sleepwalking. I don't even eat eggs. Oh, my gosh. I was drunk. Tried to pee off the back of a pontoon. Okay, I'm in. Well, I, need to, I need to get comfortable because this is a lot. This is from Jennifer. I was drunk. Tried to pee off the back of a pontoon. 
fell forward off the side, got my foot stuck in the ladder. I was stuck hanging head first in the water until somebody freed my foot. Severely bruised my leg from hip to toe and still have scar tissue and nerve. Jennifer, what? You should never drink again. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Alejandro. That is so crazy. Yeah, that's the re that person is the reason they put those weird warnings on things when we buy them. The iron always says, do not use while wearing the item. I thought it was a joke, but apparently it was the girl that was doing it. I was curling my hair Farrah Fawcett style when I was young, and the curling iron slipped and I burned my eyeball. Yeah, who hasn't done that? My husband works nights, so he comes to bed real late when he's off. I punched him in the face one night not knowing it was him. That was your plan? Mm-hmm. Like, I will punch you in the face. My former friend was lazy and ironed her shirt while wearing it, burned her neck. How many people? There's two people. Two people. I stepped onto a rotisserie grill attachment. <laughs> Why? Why? A, was that randomly out? B, were you skipping? Is that? I don't. Why would there be a rotisserie grill attachment just randomly on the floor, Julie? Fun trip to the ER. X-rays were passed out in the medical profession. They couldn't believe it. No one can believe it. My son broke his foot while he was supposed to be doing science homework. He snuck out the back door, was doing skateboarding tricks. But I wanted to be sympathetic. Did you? I didn't. Mm -mm. Don't you remember when Dean, he was doing skateboarding tricks. Oh, dated five, married 12. Got it. I understand. Uh, Dean was doing skateboarding tricks, which I told him was a horrible idea. And then he fell in the driveway here, remember? And then I got out the hose. And instead of helping him, I made an outline, like a chalk outline, but with the hose <clears throat> of his body. It was like this. And then I eventually helped him up and took him to the hospital and he broke it. But I still had the body in the driveway, which I loved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I punched my head in the sleep because I was killing fly. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Yeah, you're a cult member. Is Carmen writing these down? No. Has anybody remember ironing their hair? Yes. Wait, did I tell you all about the table I need on in October? I got a piece of glass stuffed in my leg and lived in there rent-free for five months. My husband kept on scar tissue until I tried to poke out and it started to poke out and reflect light. What is happening? Mm hmm. Once you check Tiffany Hall, once you change your name to Tiffany Boom Boom Hall, you are almost guaranteed to increase in popularity. And that is true. Of all the nicknames, that is a pretty good one. Andrea, I got to get over and change yours to Good Time Andrea. Remember those old rolling presses that were used to wring out clothes that were washed? My arm went through the rolling press. My sister told me it felt like a massage and I wanted to see. I was five. What happened? Did it just smush your arm? It did feel like a massage. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That was one of the first shows I watched when Dean was laying in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Did I do it with the, I couldn't remember. Did I have chalk? I, maybe I've done it a number of times. I definitely did it with a hose once too. My brother was really into Planet of the Apes, obviously. He slept, he slept walk and went to the tub and started yelling and crying, saying, I am a monkey. I'm a monkey. I would love to have seen that. Mm-hmm. So I think we're all saying we can pretend to be asleep and punch our significant others, basically. Yep. Mm hmm. I once took a sleeping pill one night, slept, walked, and shaved off my hair. <laughs> Sherry Bougie Taylor, look at her. Tiffany, don't do it. It's a trap. You'll be haunted the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I just, I just jab mascared my, cause y'all distract me. I jumped when I thought a plane was coming at the car. When I was a passenger, it was a fly. <laughs> Dean did break Jacqueline's leg. Mm -hmm. 
My husband was a drill sergeant. He always talked in his sleep. He yelled, give me 20 push-ups in his sleep. I jumped out of bed, half asleep, hurt my leg. I was so pissed. I can't imagine, because I know Missy would be the same. If, if Missy and I happened to be in the same bed, and I, in the middle of the night, just got up and yelled, give me 20, she would roll out of the bed, break something, and attempt it. She'd be like, you were so angry. I thought you really, I would. If somebody was like, get up and give me, one, I would roll. I would knock myself out, hit my nightstand. It would, it would, I would listen. I would listen. I'm not lying. In Breckenridge with my family, we were bike riding and braked a bit too hard. Hit some gravel, flew over my handlebars, severely bruised my pelvic from hip to hip. Oh my God. I cleaned out my second story window while sleepwalking as a kid. I woke up half in half out of the window. It was scary. Uh, yeah. And one time I was sleeping, I got my mom's tea bags as a kid, stashed them everywhere. For months, we were finding tea bags hidden around the house. You would turn on the ceiling fan and get hit with tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's just so crazy. My dad tells in his sleep and quite scary. My dad was sleeping over my parents' house one night. My mom said he started yelling and sat up and laughed at him and went back to sleep. My brother-in-law grabbed his wife's boob and kept squeezing it so hard that she was screaming. It was the middle of the night. And he was having a nightmare about a bald guy that he disliked on TV. He thought he was squeezing his, his head. He finally woke up and felt terrible. <laughs> Like Kojak? Like, what, what in the world? Could you imagine just waking up and somebody just squeezing your boot? What? What? Ah! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> my son broke his elbow at my sister's wedding. I was eating a piece of cake and told my son, when I'm done with this cake, I'll take you to the ER, Tammy. Cake always first. And that is the truth. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one who has weird genes and jumps out of bed in a panic. Mm -hmm. That's not supposed to feel like that. <laughs> what in the Tiffany Hall are you? Tiffany Boom Boom Hall are you doing to my poop right now? <laughs> what in the Tiffany Hall? <laughs> That's going to be the thing now. What in the Tiffany Hall do you think you're doing to my boob right now? <laughs> Tiffany is like, why did I say that? I did this to myself. Listen, I'm going to be honest. Most of the time when you get some kind of nickname on the show, consider this. I've never met Tiffany Hall. I don't know this woman. And yet, with just some simple sentences. And Mendy, you better be Wendy Waterwiggle by tomorrow. And you did that to yourself. Mendy, you've been here for a while. She was like, I don't want Waterwiggle. <laughs> you did it to yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was riding a horse when I was 11, tripped over before we went over a jump. I went flying over his head, landed on the jump itself. What? As a kid, I put my tongue on the freezer, then panicked when it was stuck. I ripped all the skin off. No. Uh-uh. Hot out of the year. Oh, hot dad of the year, Jed, talks in his sleep. Often he talks like a perverted Frenchman. <laughs> it's just random. <laughs> oh. Like Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> My friend took an Ambien to get to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night, fell down the stairs, cracked a rib, split his lip, looked like a parade of angry people, took turns punching him. Luckily, he was married to a doctor. He and his friends were visiting, put him on a dining room table to examine the damage. The story told after that is he fell down the stairs with a laundry basket, tripped over part of a sheet that was hanging on the basket. Oh, my gosh, Bobby. I know, cake before breaks, baby. You you better break something. Make sure I didn't have cake in my hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. What in the Tiffany Hall? My husband grabbed my neck, hallucinating to sleep. I couldn't get his arm off me. Now I have separate bedrooms. That was six years ago. Yeah, that's you got to draw a line. 
<laughs> there needs to be an award at the end of the year for the strangest chime to join alive. <laughs> Mendy's laughing like I'm kidding. Mendy McDonald, you are Mendy Water Wiggle McDonald. Make it happen. Delicious, you absolutely should download this episode. Mm hmm. Tiffany's like, I'm cracking up. What in the Tiffany Hall are you doing to my boob? That's it. And please say that. Say that full sentence. Even if you if you if you fall and hit your head, you should still say, What in the Tiffany Hall are you doing to my boob? They're like, I didn't touch your boob. You fell on your head. No, I know what happened. <laughs> that should be your answer for everything. If I get another kidney stone, I'll be like, what in the Tiffany Hall did you do to my boob? They'll be like, ma'am, you're here for a lithotripsy. <laughs> no, that's just something I say when I'm upset. <laughs> Nothing like stepping on a little rubber duck and falling while trying to teach to reach for your beach chair. I invented a new Olympic sport, belly flopping on the pavement. <laughs> Black and blue marks on my stomach, chest, knees for weeks and a fractured wrist. <clears throat> Rebecca, my other two glasses are are dirty, so this is my backup. <laughs> Perverted Frenchman. <laughs> my sister-in-law and daughter and I stayed in a cabin in the woods. That's basically murder. To go to a Miranda Lambert concert. It's super weird. Middle of the night, my sister-in-law screamed. She was alone, sleeping. My daughter and I were in the other room. It was the most ungodly scream she could... She could have been getting murdered and all my daughter and I could do was laugh. <laughs> and that's what I would do. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. So funny. So funny. Oh my gosh. I know I blocked him. It's so funny. Mm hmm. My husband was falling off a ladder towards me and I pushed him the other way, causing his knee injury. Well, the girl got to protect herself. Mm hmm. Yeah, today's Tuesday. What in the Sam Hill? No, it's what in the Tiffany Hall are you doing to my boob? That's it. <clears throat> yeah, I got him. Mm hmm. Yeah, you saw it. Molina knows. You know when I'm about to block somebody. So that's. Mm hmm. So funny. Well, listen, I don't even know what time we started the show, but I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And this all started because Judy from Saskatoon was like, guys, I got this spasm in my back. <laughs> and then I randomly talked about how I wanted to start doing yoga. I did say to Chris, <clears throat> best neighbor Chris, um, I said, we have to start doing um, yoga. Dina, we will definitely die if we hear someone screaming they're being murdered and then no. We'll just be, I'll be like, drop and give me 20. Missy be like, okay, but don't you think we should check on the girl that's being around? Give me 20. What? What in the Tiffany hall? <laughs> uh, it is good for the whole body and soul, Victoria. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So tonight... I don't know if everybody heard. Oh, you didn't hear because it was on the <clears throat> supporter side. So tonight we'll be doing Tipsy Tuesday. I should also find out what time my uh, surgery is tomorrow. I think it's in the afternoon, but that's just a guess. Either way, for whatever reason, we were talking about, and I don't know if you'll agree or maybe you have a different style, but um, in the, I don't know, roughly 80s, um, the great, I knew that a day was going to be a great day if I had a side ponytail on. And I'm not talking about a low, I'm talking about full right here side pony. And that is what everybody will be rocking tonight for Tipsy. Do not come to Tipsy Tuesday tonight without a side pony. I don't care if you got short hair. All right, Lorene, you got a little... This is like this. Just put a little thing right here. <laughs> okay. And I will post a picture <clears throat> of my side pony. And then you all have to take pictures of yourself. And before, so I'll post my picture around 8 o'clock. I don't know, 8.30. A Suzanne Summers side pony. 
And that is the look for tonight. <clears throat> and everybody, make sure Jeremy posts his picture. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> And fair enough, then put your scarf in a side pony. If you're currently doing chemo, side scarf. What side bufanda? Oh, we got to use the word bufanda correctly. This is the greatest day ever. Side bufanda. Do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anne's like, I can do that. I can do a side bufanda and please only refer to it as a bufanda. <laughs> I don't have enough hair for a pony. Yeah, you do. Meredith, make it work. Mm-hmm. I'll oh, see. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Gabby. You see, I said bufanda correctly in a sentence. <clears throat> she had to work in the Spanish scarf. You know, I did. You know, I did. So anyway. So that's what we're doing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Tammy, you can still send your side bouffant a picture. Mm hmm. <clears throat> or, or pony, it does. Mm hmm. Then get a bouffant, Robin. Mm hmm. Did somebody open a door? Yeah. Will this be an annual event? I don't know, Megan, but somehow we got on the topic of the side pony. I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> How do you change your name, Mendy? Reach out to somebody that's changed their name already um, and ask them. I know you probably have to do it on your computer, not on your phone. I tried to change it. Good time Andrea's yesterday on the other night, but I don't think you can do it on <clears throat> your phone. You have to do it on your computer. Um, yeah, Bufanda is a scarf. Well, somebody said that they, she couldn't do a side pony because she's in chemo and she lost the hair. She's got a, so that's why she's doing a side Bufanda, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Where do we post the picture? So I'm going to post mine and Brooke's side pony. Brooke, tonight we're doing side ponytails. She's like, okay. So we'll pick, put a post a picture of me and Brooke in our side ponytails, and then you can come back with either a side pony, a side bufanda, a side wig, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> Dogs can do it. Whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who pulled their stomach muscles from laughing so hard? What date is the morning show going to be all in Spanish? Diane, luckily, Gabby took a note of the day, it's June 6th. And now I have doubled up on my Duolingo. Do you know how slow that show is going to be? It's going to be like, hola, <clears throat> me llamo Dina. Donde es tu bufanda? It's going to be, everyone should have a scarf. Have a scarf ready, have a puzzle ready, a rumpa cabeza, and we'll probably be at the biblioteca. I'm just letting so. you know, <clears throat> because those are my favorite words. So just be ready. Uh, el 6 de juli, junio. Say, Gab's like, let's get in. Let's get in it. Okay. That show will be completely in turtle mode. <laughs> all turtle. <laughs> all turtle all the time. <laughs> Maybe, Carmen. Maybe we'll have a couple of our Spanish speaking people ready in the green room to converse. So if you would like to be in the mix, and we can have a couple of people come on and teach us something. Maybe that's a good idea because that's a lot for me, Carmen. And so like you could say some words, Alejandra, Athena, Gabby, Tiffany, Boom Boom Hall. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> My cleaning lady is watching me chase a fly around the house and I can't communicate. How do you say house fly? Uh, for Mackenzie, she's trying to tell her there's a fly in the house. How do you say fly? House and butterflies. House fly. Well, Vuelvo. 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 Is that fly? Uh, Somebody help her. Somebody help Mackenzie. Una mosca. Mosca. So, um, house fly would be fly of the house. Mosca de casa? <laughs> Pays 
pizza, Donde, cafe, ombre, Kaya. <laughs> Missy will not be on the show. <laughs> Missy will just be in the Go in pears. Bananas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She thinks I've lost my mind. Thank you. Mosca domestica. Say una mosca. Un mosca en la casa. Randina. Thank you. Mm hmm. I'm <laughs> Oh. Diva, Diva Licious. You got to get the Duolingo. I, yeah, happy to help. Happy to have so say happy to help in Spanish. Happy. Feliz. Uh, ayuda. Hello. Mm -hmm. In this house, we refer to flies as sky raisins. <laughs> Don't say sky raisins in Spanish. That will be very confusing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Feliz de ayudarte. Oh, so close. Mm hmm. All right. Well, it's coming up. So it's going to be a great day. A great day. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> so that's it, everybody. But I hope you have a great day. I hope that you skip at some point today. I hope that if, Brooke, moving forward, if you get injured, specifically in the head or boob, um, you, in order to make sure you're okay, you would say the words Tiffany Hall or what in the Tiffany Hall? That's what you say now. Nobody knows. But if you like hurt your foot or you go like, and don't sneeze, you get a lot of injuries. Never. Never. You will end up in the hospital. Mm-hmm. So that's it. I'm positive we've helped no one, um, but maybe you've laughed at other people's pain. And that's mostly what we're here for. I'm looking forward to seeing Mendy's new name. Andrea, I'm going to swing by later and I'm going to change your name because it's been almost a week. It's too long. And Tiffany Boom Boom Hall. Um, like Boom yeah. Boom Green? Like Boom Boom Green, but Tiffany Boom Boom Hall. And that's what you say when you fall. <clears throat> and we helped that we helped Mackenzie. That was the everybody else. I'm pretty sure we heard, um, but at least we did help Mackenzie. <laughs> I know Barbara. If you don't seize when you need to, it comes out in other ways. But that's a different story. Mm -hmm. There's a lady on here that teaches you Chinese, but only the bad words. Ugh, Jesse, I'd like to follow her. I need a nickname, Tracy. It it, it has to be. It has to just come out. Like you could one day be a Mendy. Brooke, do you know what a water a water wiggle is? No. No, nobody does. Okay, cool. Uh, it's very organic. Exactly. You just you, you'll never know when it's gonna happen. A water wiggle? No, no. Your nickname. Like today, we we have at least two or three nicknames just today. I can't believe that's what I got. <laughs> that came from the Lord, Mindy. Well, Mindy McDonald got on here talking about something called a water wiggle, and the whole show went sideways, and then Dean said it was a penis, and so that was it. So her name is water wiggle? Her name, it could be worse, Mindy. Think about it. <laughs> we could have just gone with what Dean said. She's like, you know, I'll stick with water wiggle. I'll stick. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brooke is a grown-ass woman. Broke grown ass from a blizzard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a, yeah. She's like, not much better. Okay. Well, we'll find out. And here's the thing Mendy and Tiffany Boom Boom Hall. Huh? You can't tell people why you changed it. That's the other rule. You have to just change it. Don't go on and message your family. Don't do it. It's just, you change it. You change it. Okay. And then, and you never speak of it and you never explain it to anybody outside of the show. <laughs> Nicknames scare me. <laughs> Janet, watch what you say. You never know where it's going to land. I know this morning show definitely rates as one of the top five funniest. It's not, it's uh, mostly Mindy and Tiffany Hall. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
So there's that. So good luck. Mandy's like, I already told them. Okay, Mandy, you know what? <laughs> Mandy's 10 steps ahead. She's like, I already put out a newsletter. I have a billboard on a local highway. Okay. And it says, this is my nickname and I don't want it, but I will accept it because I'm in this weird cult. <laughs> Okay, let's go. We should all be grown-ups and go do real jobs. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everybody. Please, again, skip at some point. And what in the Tiffany Boom Boom Hall are you doing to my boob? And that's going to be hard to explain. Yep, no, that came from a different story. Uh, all right, everybody. Listen, I'm almost positive you're better people. You're more educated. And you'll probably end up in a hospital if you skip. So keep that in mind. And thanks for watching. Tonight, side ponytails. Brooke and I will post hours later. And we are expecting a number of them back. And I can't wait to see Joey Joes uh, and many bufandas. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for making today funny, especially since I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, just uh, keep that going. All right, everybody, have a great day and a blessed day. Thank you, Judy from Saskatoon. And uh, remember, do something nice for yourself or others today, um, and uh, it will be great. So thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you tonight on Tipsy Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed today's morning show, make sure to follow us for more One Funny Mother content. Okay, all right. Morse code is tapping. And check out OneFunnyMotherStore.com for great, new, inappropriate swag. And for more exclusive content, consider becoming a supporter. She got a bad leg. Thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow on One Funny Morning.